Hello and welcome to another adventure on this planet Earth. I'm Mark Gilchrist and this week we're going on a train ride. Stick around to the very end for an extraordinary view outside an ordinary train window. Boy, what a day I had <laughs> about a month ago. Right now I'm near the end of a tour of northern Vietnam and man, what a gorgeous tour that is. But to start this tour, I had to go from Hanoi out to the coast. And I had to do something that I usually hate to do. I had to ride a train and put my motorcycle on that train. I was rewarded later that day when I got to ride on a ferry boat. While the coast is beautiful, the ride from Hanoi is not. I've been told that ride is just terrible. It's all industrial, there's no view, uh, the roads are terrible, so I'm, I'm actually looking forward to riding the train here. It's not a really long trip, but it's gonna be pretty complex. First, I'm gonna ride about an hour, get to the train station, ride for two hours. I'm gonna get off in Haiphong, and then I have to take a ferry out to the island, and then go find my hotels. Yeah, this day would probably be easy for any normal traveler, but that's not me. Yeah, last night I spent a few hours looking for a hotel room in Hoi An, Vietnam. That's about 600 miles from where I need to go. Usually you arrive hours early. I was too lazy to schedule that much. Um, and I kind of got a late start. Traffic through Hanoi is just a mess. It took me an hour to go this distance. So I get to the train station. I, I'm, I'm only an hour early. I get an even bigger panic. There's no train. I call this the fog of peace, where you just can't get the information you need. That panic lasted only a few minutes, and then they came up with a ticket, a few stamps and staples and paper clips and whatever, and I, I was on my way. So it was 170,000 dong. That's like seven or eight dollars for me to go ooh, 80 or 100 miles and my motorcycle. Now usually, when you put your motorbike on a train, it's a big ordeal. You have to get there hours early so they can strip it down, wrap it up, drain the tank. But this is kind of a, a commuter train between the two major cities, and so it's, it's really no big deal. I had to move my bike over to the loading area. We'll get this thing on there. Now I need to get all my luggage off. I'm gonna have to carry both my saddlebags, my backpack here, second backpack. I think it's ready to go on the train, and that's not this train. Probably one, one's gonna pull up on this track. The train just arrived, and uh, looks like they have about a dozen motorcycles to put on. Pretty simple operation. All set, ready for step number two, the train ride to Hafong. We'll chalk this up to small miracles, but I'm on the train, and so is my motorcycle. Got pretty close there. But... Okay, I'm in Haiphong. Check out this guy. He's uh, has a huge bag, and he's carrying a fan with him. <laughs> ah. Now there's my bike. Now I have to find the ferry, and Google is claiming ignorance right here. So I'm just gonna keep looking for water and see what I can see. I'm a little lost, but at least I know I'm near water. This is one hard ferry to find. Thank you. I'm in no hurry, on, except for, except for it looks like it's gonna rain, but several islands around here, so even if I find a ferry terminal, I have to make sure it's, it's the right one. Well, I think I'm here. Let's see where I can get a ticket. Thank you. I've long said that there's just something about a boat. <laughs> They're pretty simple devices, but they can take you out into beautiful, mysterious, exotic places where otherwise you, you just couldn't go.
Well, I am finally out on Kappa Island. Now all I need to do is find my hotel, the VC, the Victor Charlie Hostel, where every room has a window. <laughs> Well, thanks for hanging. I hope you enjoyed the adventure. I'm Mark Gilchrist, and I am, and you are, we all are, on this planet Earth.